In this video, we'll be sketching the graph of a tangent function. First, let us start with some guidelines for sketching graphs. Um, one thing that we need to do in our function is if the coefficient of x is not factored out, we need to do so so that it's outside of the parentheses because we'll be using that b value. And that also factors out, the, uh, gives us a different value for the d. Uh, we want to find uh, the absolute value of a is how much we stretch or shrink the graph. Notice that a is not an amplitude for a tangent function because tangent goes on for forever up and down. It goes to infinity. Also, we want to find the period, which is pi over b. Remember that the period of the basic tangent function is pi. So the period of our tangent function uh, when we have a b value has to be calculated with this formula. Vertical translation is the c value. So Sometimes this number is in the back, um, sometimes it's in the front, but that represents how much we move our basic points up and down. And then the phase shift is the value of d, so that's the right and left movement. If needed, draw a guideline at your center line. Um, find the period using the formula pi over b and then divide that period by 2, since half the period is to the left of the beginning x value and half is to the right. So for the tangent function, you need to divide your period by 2, and half of it will be drawn to the left of your starting x value and half to the right. Find your beginning x value, d, that's your phase shift, and plot a zero point on the center line at this x value. Then subtract the half period that we found up here on step four. Subtract that half period from your beginning x value to get where our first vertical asymptote is drawn. And then add the half period to the beginning x value to get another vertical asymptote. And then add a, an entire period, not a half period. Add an entire period or subtract an entire period if you need to sketch additional periods. Um, then halfway between the zero and the asymptote, that represents the x value where your tangent is 1 on the basic tangent curve. So for uh, the ones that we'll be graphing, we'll plot our point a units from the center line. So if we have an a value other than 1, we'll um, put a point a units away from the center line and then sketch a smooth curve through those points and draw additional periods if necessary. Let's do an example. And in our example, we're asked to sketch the graph of y equal tangent 2 thirds x. Now we see that uh, no number is added on here, so we have no vertical. Translation, so we're not moving it up or down any. Also then, the coefficient of tangent, the number out in front here, is just 1. So we have a equals 1, so there's no stretch or shrink. Um, we see that our b value, the coefficient of x, is 2 thirds 
So that means that our period is pi over two thirds or three pi over two. And then um, we don't have a d value, a number added or subtracted onto the x, so there's no phase shift. So once we have our period, we said it was 3 pi over 2. Remember, for the tangent function, we have to divide that by 2 to find out how much is on the right of the x value and how much is on the left. So we get 3 pi over 4. Our beginning x value is d. And since that was not there, d was not there, that means d is 0. So we take our beginning x value and we subtract this half of the period to find um, where our first asymptote guideline will be. And then we also add that half a period to the beginning x value to get another vertical asymptote. And then on to this x value, we add an entire period but remember, this is a full period. And this was a half period. You only do the half periods right around the beginning x value. Alright, so um, then to find uh, how we're going to label our x-axis, it looks like um, the denominator is 4 on all of these, so I'm going to label in fourths of a pi. Four pi over four would just be pi. The side would be a negative pi over four. Okay, and then we also, we need a label for these marks here. We'll put our A value, um, which we know is 1. So let's label this as 1 and negative 1. Our first our asymptote um, to the left of our y-axis is going to be at negative 3 pi over 4. And then we have an asymptote at 3 pi over 4. And we have another one at 9 pi over 4. Halfway between the asymptotes, I have my 0. So I have a 0 here at uh, 0, and I have a 0 at 3 pi over 2. Then halfway between my 0 and my asymptote, which will be right here, I have um, what would be the 45 degree angle on a basic tangent function. Um, the value there is 1, so uh, put a point there. And then halfway between here would be negative 1. 
So in my curve, uh, I'm going to go from right to left. It goes from a positive infinity through my 1, through my 0, through my negative 1, and then down to negative infinity. My tangent curve is periodic, so this repeats. Um, halfway between my zero and my asymptote, I have a one value. And here also, maybe right here, one negative one. And so from positive infinity through the one, through the zero, through the negative one, and then down. 